Greetings. My name is Dr. Nancy Aguilar Roca, and I would like to tell you a little bit about the Ecology and Evolutionary Biology major. Why Ecology and Evolutionary Biology? If you are interested in any level of biological organization, from molecular evolution to organismal physiology to global processes, then there is something for you in EEB. The Department of Ecology and Evolutionary Biology is large with 38 faculty and over 60 graduate students, and it's very diverse, both in terms of the people and the research. With ecology, people tend to first think about the outdoors, and we do have a lot of outdoor opportunities, such as the preserve across the street from campus, the cottage at Crystal Cove, the Loma Ridge, climate change experiments, and our facility in the Anza Borrego Desert. We also have faculty who pursue the marine sciences, and we have many faculty who keep their research organisms on campus, such as with fruit flies or studying bacteria. We have many faculty who focus instead on computer programming. They study bioinformatics or computational biology. And we have many collaborations across the campus, such as this one with chemistry, trying to understand the impact of pollution on plants. Being exposed to so many topics, our majors are qualified for many different types of careers, such as healthcare, including medicine, research, education, resource management, conservation, environmental consulting, environmental policy, science-related agencies, such as EPA and NOAA, or science-related nonprofits, such as the World Wildlife Fund. Requirements for the major include processes in ecology and evolution, evolution laboratory, field methods in ecology plus one lab, and three upper division electives of your choice. Most important um, is Bio 199 or independent research. This is one of the most important things in our curriculum that helps you be competitive for all of the careers that I listed previously. Your upper division elective courses can include any number of topics across biological sciences, such as molecular biology, environmental microbiology, physiology, evolution, and ecology, from small scale processes all the way up to global climate change. Here are some things that are unique to the EEB major. We have two seminar courses, Topics in Careers in Ecology and Evolution and Introduction to Field Biology, which are small, so you'll have a chance to make new friends. You get to have a lot of quality interactions with faculty, and many times we will have invited guests that are nationally known researchers. You will also have opportunities to participate in two seminars, one of which is our graduate seminar, so you will learn to communicate science at the level of graduate students. BioSci 4B uh, takes several field trips in the area, such as Crystal Cove State Park and the UCI Ecological Reserve across the street from campus, where you'll have an introduction to field methods. One of the highlights of the major is field ecology, where you get to take those basic field skills and apply them to much more in-depth activities, such as learning how to do transects at Crystal Cove or learning how to collect data at Joshua Tree National Park. Our department is divided roughly into three categories, but as you'll see, there are many people who work at the interface between different disciplines. So in organismal biology, uh, we have people who are physiologists and comparative biomechanists. We have several people who study physiology, but they also look at the evolution of physiological features. We have many people who focus on evolutionary genetics but also people who work at the interface between evolution and ecology. We of course have many ecologists and we also have faculty who work at the interface between ecology and organismal biology. All of this is what you have access to as a 199 student in our department. And learning about ecology and evolution isn't limited to the campus. Our faculty have connections with numerous organizations around Orange County, and you will of course have opportunities to work with these groups if that is what you are interested in. For more information, please contact Dr. Diane Campbell, whose own research is at the interface between ecology and evolution for natural populations in the Rockies.